Henry was frustrated. As well as pulling the express, he had to balance his own trains. While he didn't mind pulling them, he did mind the brake van. His name was Dutch, and he was a disagreeable sort, with a my way or the highway sort of attitude. One day, Paul Caroline found herself listening to Henry's complaints while waiting at a bus station. It's ridiculous. Not only do I have to do extra work, but I'm constantly being held back due to that bumbling brake van. Well, if you ask me, a change of pace is always nice. Not when I'm late. I wouldn't expect you to understand. You don't go very fast, do you? Well, that's because I'm not a busy boiler like you. She honked and chortled away, leaving Henry seething. A few days later, she found herself resting near the yards while her driver went to grab a newspaper from the station. As she rested, she overheard Dutch talking to some of the trucks. All right, boys, I've got a plan. We stole the toughest part of the hill and weaken Henry. Once he strains, we break free and head for the next engine we see. A double whammy. Caroline was worried. I must warn him. She thought, but she never got the chance as the driver returned and they left once more. There is a small dirt road across from the rails on the hill. It is meant for tourists and rail fans to watch various engines to go by. Caroline was rolling gently up as the driver's family was doing some train spotting. She was parked up top and kept a lookout for Henry. As if on cue, he came storming along, fighting against the gradient. Henry, be careful! They Shush! I'm trying to focus. I can't focus on the hill when you. What? Henry felt the weight behind him as the truck started to roll down. Oh, driver, quick! After those trucks! The family rushed in, and Caroline. Roared into action, chasing the trucks. Her engine followed smoke, but she kept the pace, trailing shortly behind. She saw a signal box and honked furiously. Run away! Switch the uh, uh, track thingies. The signal operator understood what she meant and quickly changed the point. As Dutch and the truck rolled into Wellsburg, he swayed to the side. He picked himself and the rest of the train off the rails. The yard was a mess, with boxes of fruit and other various goods smashed everywhere. But the runaway had stopped at last. Caroline spotted in, worry but relieved. A few minutes later, Henry returned, red in the face. You silly car! You made me lose my train. I was trying to warn you. Caroline here is a hero. If not for her, there would have been a nasty crash. Well, nastier than that. Henry then understood. Oh, uh, I I see. My apologies, Caroline. He then chuckled. <laughs> I suppose I was wrong. You do know a thing or two about going fast. I suppose so, but let's hope this doesn't happen in the future. Chasing trains has become a habit for me. <laughs> the three laughed. Soon enough, Caroline was restored to working order. She still made frequent trips up the hill with her driver's family. And whenever they saw Henry, they always greeted him. He always responded with a smile and a friendly whistle. As for Dutch, he had his wheels removed and was turned into a fruit stand. I think he deserved this punishment, don't you?